Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to look at that final part of external stability. We're going to look at that link between external stability and the Australian dollar. So the key relationship to keep in mind is that as the Australian dollar changes, as it appreciates and depreciates and fluctuates, that will affect Australia's external stability. So as mentioned, what we're talking about is this idea of how do exchange rates affect external stability. But I was uh, going back through some notes and I found this definition from Tim Riley, um, good old year 12 economics 2019. And his definition here is that, so we're saying external stability is achieved when export income is sufficient to finance import expenditure. Right, export income is sufficient to finance import expenditure. The servicing costs of Australia's foreign liabilities are met. And the rate is relatively stable over time. I think I've missed a word there, the exchange rate. And for us, the exchange rate, well, that relates to the Australian dollar. So I like this idea of talking about that external stability involves exports in relation to imports, um, it looks at NPY outflows or primary income outflows, and it also looks at the value of the dollar. So those are sort of um, useful ways to think about whether Australia is achieving external stability or not. What we can talk about is that the Australian dollar is the Australian economy's link to the rest of the world, that all transactions that involve Australia and the rest of the world have to involve the Australian dollar. Changes in the value of the Australian dollar can significantly affect Australia's external stability and its international competitiveness. And when we're thinking about this point, the kind of things we're talking about with the value of the Australian dollar can affect external stability that we can think about. But the changes in the Aussie dollar can affect all of these really key elements of external stability. And the thing you should know about the Aussie dollar is that the Aussie dollar doesn't really stay uh, the same. <laughs> the Aussie dollar fluctuates enormously, fluctuates a lot. And what you can see over here is I've just taken this description from uh, IG Markets and there'll be a link in the description and that you can see here that the Aussie dollar is the fifth most traded currency in the world, accounting for a daily average volume of US $174 million. So every day, nearly $200 million US in terms of Aussie dollars is traded all around the world. So our next point with external stability is this idea that the floating Australian dollar helps Australia to adjust to changes in the global economy. So what we're talking about is that the Australian dollar or changes in the Australian dollar, so let's say the floating Australian dollar helps the Australian economy deal with changing global economic conditions. So if we go over here, so let's say that there is a period of slow global growth. So let's think about the possible implications for the Australian economy in this kind of situation. So let's just pause here. So we start with this situation of declining global economic growth. Now we know that Australia's exports, Australia's exports are kind of like fuel for growth. They go towards building and constructing and creating uh, and fueling growth in other countries. So that if growth slows, there will be less demand for Australia's exports. Okay, less aggregate demand, less economic growth in Australia. And then at the same time, if we think about less demand for Australian exports and we follow this arrow down here, that there will be less demand for the Aussie dollar. Okay, so what's going to happen now? Okay, so what we're going to see then is if there's the, this fall in the Aussie dollar, then there will actually be an increase in the international competitiveness of Australia's exports because they will be cheaper for foreign purchases. 
And then what we're going to see is that Australia will sell more exports, boost to aggregate demand, boost to economic growth. So can you see that the lower Australian dollar will actually have a counter cyclical impact? At a time when global growth is slowing, the Australian economy is getting a boost from more competitive exports. Now maybe that's worth writing down. So at a time of slowing global growth, the Australian economy gets a boost from cheaper Australian exports, which could increase export volumes. Now you might make a point and say, but if the global economy is slowing, who's going to be buying these exports? And just remember that sometimes in economics we live in a little bit of theory and this may not be replicated in reality. But this is theoretically how it would work. So then if we flip the situation and we think about a period of global economic growth that is much stronger. So what we'll do is we'll just Okay, so we'll just pause there. So we've got our situation, which is this rapid global economic growth. We're likely to see greater demand for Australia's exports because they are fuel for global growth. And then in order to buy those exports, uh, people need more Aussie dollars, which is going to lead to this appreciation. So if we're looking at this situation that all of here, that the cycle is increasing economic growth. So what will happen though, is that with a higher value of the Aussie dollar, so that what will happen is that when the Australian dollar uh, experiences an appreciation, exports become less competitive, the export volumes will fall, which will be a, which will take away from aggregate demand and economic growth. So in fact, if we're looking at the impact, if the cycle is increasing economic growth that the Australian dollar that the Australian dollar will slow the Aussie economy it will act as a kind of a break on growth in that circumstance when there is rapid global growth okay let's move on to the next part so our final part of the video is looking at this idea a floating Aussie dollar can affect Australia's external stability and what we're saying is that this kind of effect that this effect can have positive and negative elements. So if we're sort of uh, going a bit deeper into this point, what we're saying is that large swings in the Aussie dollar will affect key factors that influence external stability. So that when the Australian dollar changes, so what we're looking at here is that when there is a change in the value of the Aussie dollar, that that's actually going to, that that, <laughs> that that will affect things like Australia's international competitiveness, the size of foreign debt in foreign currency terms, and the balance of payments overall. So if we take, I don't know, one of these issues, for example, if we sort of look at international competitiveness and we go over here, we know that if the Australian dollar appreciates, that that will reduce Australia's international competitiveness. I've just put it as IC as a shortcut and that we know that if the Australian dollar falls, if it depreciates, that that is going to actually increase Australia's international competitiveness. And then if we take this a step further, what we know is that if, say for example, Australia is more international competitive, uh, Australia will sell more exports because they're cheaper, this could improve VOGs and reduce the CAD and improve external stability, right? And then this example would be the opposite situation over here. So uh, reduce export volumes, worsen bogs, increase CAD, worsen external stability. And then you can also think about it, okay, the size of the foreign debt, that will change based on the value of the Australian dollar. Uh, changing the value of the Australian dollar will change the value of Australia's foreign debt. It will change the value of Australia's NPY or PY outflows. And that this could all have negative impacts on external stability. So there's an interesting point um, I think is worth mentioning from Dixon and Omani, uh, another Year 12 textbook, this is Australia and the Global Economy, and that what we're saying in this part here is that a change in the exchange rate affects the balance of payments, right, by affecting Australia's international competitiveness, so that relates 
back to our exports, international competitiveness. So that relates to exports. And then we'll go back to the highlighter and we'll also and the size and servicing costs of our foreign debt that is borrowed in foreign currency. And that here is that point that relates back to these elements that we talked about. So here's a, might be a good point to look to include in some of your responses. Therefore, if the value of the dollar is continually subject to change, two of the major indicators of Australia's external stability will also be volatile. So just to finish off, what we're saying with all these points that you should really know is that if we have a change in the Aussie dollar, that that is going to lead to a change in Australia's international competitiveness and that will have a change in Australia's international competitiveness, so the price of our exports, also the level of foreign debt and primary income outflows and all of this, all of this could worsen Australia's external stability. Okay, so that's how external stability links to the Australian dollar, that that relationship that as the Australian dollar changes in value, as it appreciates or depreciates, that in turn will affect Australia's external stability. Worth checking out the other elements of external stability, so looking at um, external stability in the current account deficit and external stability and net foreign liabilities. As always, put your questions in the comments and thank you very much for watching.